Let's do some tea history. In the 19th century, the British appetite for tea grew rapidly and they had to go all the way to China to get it. It was particularly fashionable to have the new seasons tea, so if you were the first ship back after harvest, you could charge extra. So ships would race each other to be the first home, and this was big news, like people bet on this every year. Captains who could do the journey fast got well known and they could command better pay. Captain Robertson of the Cairngorm claimed that he never went to bed on the journey home, he napped out on deck instead so he'd be available in case of emergencies. And ships start being built specifically to do this journey fast, they're called tea clippers. You might know the most famous tea clipper, the Cutty Sark in Greenwich. And all this shaved a huge amount of time off the journey. Before the development of the tea clippers, the journey took about eight months. Just 40 years later, they'd got that time down to under 100 days. Unfortunately for the Cutty Sark, it was built in the exact same year the Suez Canal opened, 1869, which made it instantly obsolete. 